Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. Hope everybody's having an incredible week. My name is Jeff Street. I teach people how to make money from home online. And today, I want to talk to you about the power of an increment. Now, what is an increment by definition? The definition of increment is the amount or degree by which something changes. The amount or degree by which something changes. Now, it can, can change negatively or it can change positively. You know, it's the ability to go out and measure one's progress. You can measure it in, in increments. You know, and this is one of the biggest keys that I ever learned. Good morning, Lori. This is one of the biggest keys that I ever learned when it comes to goal setting because you got to set incremental goals for yourself. You want to see your long-term goal. Good morning, AB. You want to see your long-term goal, and then you got to break it down into increments. If you're just shooting, good morning, Camille, if you're just shooting for the long-term goal without those incremental steps, it's going to be really, really difficult to go out and hit that goal. You know, let me give you an example. Let's say that you're, you know, that you want to start working out. And you can, you know, curl a, a 20 pound, uh, you know, weight, you know, for, for a bicep curl. And let's say your goal is to go out and start to curl a 50 pound dumbbell. Now, it's going to be very difficult to go from 20 to 50. You're probably going to hurt yourself. You're probably going to pull your muscle. Good morning, Joel. But let's say that you want to set a goal to go from 20 to 50 and then you break it down. And your first incremental goal, good morning, Geraldo, your first incremental goal is to curl, good morning, Jocelyn, your first incremental goal is to curl a 25 pound weight. So you go from 20 to 25 and you're working on that. And once you get that, then your, your next incremental goal you set out for yourself was 30, good morning, Joanne, and then 35 and 40 and so on. And it's like compound interest. It doesn't happen overnight, but it builds up and it compounds. And all of a sudden, you know, months later, maybe a year later, whatever the case may be for you, you went from 20 to 50. But you did it in increments and you look back, you're like, man, I, I did that. It was, wasn't that bad. But one of the biggest keys of the incremental goals is the more you accomplish along the way, the more inspired you'll become to keep progressing week after week. The more you accomplish every day, the more inspired you'll become to keep progressing week after week. And again, if the goal is 50 and all you're shooting for is 50 and you know two months later, you're not at 50, even if you're at 25, even if you're at 30, you're discouraged because you're nowhere close to 50. And this is one of the biggest mistakes I see people make in business is not setting instrumental uh, incremental goals for themselves, trying to go from zero to 100, you know, overnight. See, how do you put a puzzle together? A piece, a couple pieces at a time. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. You know, and it's the same thing, you know, with goal setting. There's so much power in the incremental goal. Today is actually my nine month anniversary of doing one of these live videos here on the pl Facebook platform every single day for nine months straight. And my goal is one year straight of being able to do some kind of a, you know, of a, of a video to impact at least one person every single day, 365 days straight for a year straight. But in the beginning, going from not doing it to 365, you know, that was really, really intimidating. So my first increment that what I, that I went after was 30 days. And the reason why I went after 30 days right off the bat is they said, you know, and so many books I read said you can, something becomes habitual after 30 days. So I went after 30 days and I hit 30 days and there was that feeling of accomplishment. Again, that feeling and you celebrate every milestone along the way and that gives you more confidence that you can go out and get to the next increment, the next part of the goal, the next increment in the long-term goal. And then after that, you know, somebody told me, somebody else said 60 days to, to make a habit. So the next increment was to fulfill, you know, that um, uh, belief of 60 days for a habit. And then after that, celebrated that. Then I read, I think it was David Goggins that said 86 days creates a habit. So I had to, you know, okay, after 86 days, everybody agrees now it's a habit, but then it was 100 days, triple digits. You know, we celebrated that. You know, then there was, you know, a half a, you know, a half a year, you know, and, and different increments along the way. And today I, I celebrate the three quarter mark, you know, in a basketball game, there's four quarters, not three, but you know, sometimes, you know, those third quarter adjustments ends up helping you go out and win the game after the third quarter ends. So you got to go out and have their 
incremental goals. Set the big goal and then break it down into increments and it'll go out and keep you inspired because you have the feeling of achievement that you can go more, that you can push more. And as you start to accomplish more, you start to realize you can even become more. You can add more. You can add on your goals. The beginning of this year, I said, okay, you know what? Been doing this. Great. Now we got to do it on Instagram, you know, Monday through Friday as well. Then it was like, okay, great. Now we got to do it at a certain time. But again, one of the most important things is in goal setting is seeing the long-term goal and then breaking it down into increments. So, and one increment for you, it's the increment of today. So what can you do today to go out and help you achieve that long-term goal? John Maxwell wrote a book. It was called Today Matters. And that's the key. Today matters. Today is an increment towards where it is that you're looking to go. Yes, Camille, break it down so your mind can handle it. Take it one day at a time. Today matters. So somebody drop a comment that says today matters. Somebody drop a comment that says today matters. That's an excellent book, by the way. Hit the share button if you believe that somebody else can get something out of this. And if you're thinking of somebody specifically, man, they need to hear the message, go ahead and tag them in today's message. You know, tag them in today's message. Again, one of my biggest goals that I'm breaking down incrementally is to go out and make an impact every single day on at least one person. So if there's somebody you think definitely could get something out of this, go ahead and tag them in this video. Barbara, good morning. Great to see you. Yes, today matters. So drop a comment, guys. Today matters. Hit the share button. And I will see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. East Coast time. My name is Jeff Street. I teach people how to make money from home online. God bless everybody and have an incredible day.